What if I told you that your brain has a buy button? In traditional marketing, marketers connect to customers by asking what they want. Based on their reply, entrepreneurs build a product and then come up with a strategy to sell the product. But do you know why this doesn't really work? Most consumers don't exactly know what they want, and that's where neuromarketing comes in. This type of marketing takes advantage of the lizard brain in humans, and we're here to tell you all about it. The Secrets Behind Neuromarketing In neuromarketing, marketers will ask the question what they want, but won't trust their answers. Instead, they will look out for different psychological changes in their body using various methods. One of them is facial coding, which involves measuring facial emotions, and then eye tracking to see exactly what people look out for when they see an image. They even study the tone of the voice and use all these to determine how to get consumers to buy. That's always the ultimate goal. The brain consists of three selves. There is the rational self, the emotional shelf, and the instinctual self. The most important of the three is the instinctual self because this is what determines our final decisions, more than our rational and emotional versions. This is what influences what we know as the reptilian brain or lizard brain. This part of the brain is what helps us create decisions. It is the oldest part of our brain and has this name because it shares the same characteristics as a brain found in reptiles. It is as old as 5 million years old, and although it works very fast, it's not exactly the smartest part of our brains. The lizard brain has no sense of past or future, but loves to live in the present. This effortless brain is what's at work when you don't think too much while riding your bicycle, but know that you have to stay balanced. It's unconscious while also controlling your heart rhythm, digestion, and several other processes. The reptilian brain is uncontrollable. That's the part of the brain that controls all our emotions, whether you're excited, happy, afraid, or frustrated. Emotions are what drive us to make choices, and we like to think that it is a result of rational thoughts. But we're not as logical as we think. We don't really buy out of logic, but mostly because of the way we feel at that moment. That's the lizard brain at work and it has become a huge marketing strategy today. To sell a product effectively, you can target the emotional part of the human brain and get people to act on buying your products and services through an incentive that creates a good feeling. This is what creates that trigger to do something. The lizard brain controls your fight or flight response, but it's not activated by any real thought. It's all just emotions and instinct, and it doesn't matter if it was created by our minds or rooted in reality. The reptilian brain can't really tell the difference between imagination and what's real, as it's completely controlled by emotions. This is what drives lizard brain marketing. When the marketer says that you should imagine that you could solve your weight problem with their supplements, all you can think about is that you would finally feel good and confident about your body. That's a lizard brain at work. They're creating an image that invokes an emotion that pushes you to take action. The downside to marketing to the lizard brain. Businesses are learning how to manipulate people into buying their products, and this is a marketing strategy that actually works. However, just as with every other thing, this is also has downsides. Lizard brain marketing is effective at getting you a lot of sales within a short time, but it also has its negative side effects. When you use it repeatedly on your audience over a long period, you're building a consumer base that becomes more and more impatient with you and your products. This type of marketing attracts people that are likely to be more fearful and desperate, and they're not that enjoyable to work with because of this. You'll find yourself drawing people that you can't consider your kindred spirits because it's going for people's fear, impatience, greed, and general fear of missing out on something huge. You're trying to sell them that they must join the tribe or they'll be missing out or would end up alone. The trigger messages are all those things that make us worse as human beings, but they convince people to use your services or buy your product. This is accompanied by promises that they would no longer be anxious, afraid, sad, lonely, or feel that emotion that they don't want in their lives anymore. Lizard brain marketing is all about marketing to those negative states, but it creates an audience that becomes more negative and impatient with time. In the end, you're drawing a community that you won't be proud to hang around with after a while. The alternative is to go for heart-based marketing, where you're not stoking people's fear, but marketing to their higher selves. Instead of targeting their basic emotional instincts, go for their love for taking care of others, themselves, or even their inspiration to become their best versions. Doing this will attract more enjoyable customers who like each other better and are ready to harness a cycle of continuous growth. This is not to say that reptilian brain marketing is all bad. In fact, when done the right way, the results are actually quite pleasant. 
using lizard brain marketing the right way. Here are some tips that would help you appeal to the reptilian brain while marketing your products and services. Be as visual as possible. The lizard brain responds to a lot of visual representations, so you can take advantage of this by using big pictures to help your audience see the benefit of picking your product over others. A good strategy is to use before and after pictures. These always stand out in marketing. Use visual images to create contrast by showing them what happens when they stick with an unsafe decision and how much difference it would make to go for your solution instead. Start with the hook and close hot. Since the lizard brain is always on the alert for things that don't follow the regular pattern, your message should take advantage of the time when the part of the brain is paying attention. And that's how important it is to start your message right. You want to make sure that the first few sentences hook your audience, and then your ending pops. Always be direct and don't go for common phrases. That's just boring. Get some emotion into your message. The key to reptilian brain marketing is to evoke an emotional response since this makes memory stronger. People would always remember emotional events in their lives than what they had for lunch a few weeks ago. Therefore, you have to make your message as memorable as possible by putting in a lot of emotion. Keep it simple. With each passing day, our attention span gets smaller and smaller. Therefore, you don't want to do too much with your marketing message, or you'll lose your audience after a few sentences. When you overload customers with so much information, they could get bored, develop a so what attitude, or not make any decision at all. Instead of saying everything your product can do, focus on the most important and what makes your stand out from others. Simple analogies would come in handy here. Make it personal. The lizard brain only cares about its survival and not that of anyone else. So you can either present yourself to this part of the brain as part of its tribe or part of others. When the brain sees you as others, you won't be able to persuade your audience to buy your products. So use personal words to show that you're part of their tribe and understand their pain points. The reptilian brain is important in marketing because this marketing strategy appeals to the emotions of people and convinces them to press that buy button. It's the latest marketing trick in town with high success rates. Now you know all about lizard brain marketing and how you can use it to make massive sales. And that's a wrap. Do you think this type of marketing is effective? And have you ever tried it before? Let us know in the comments. Did you like this video? Well, we're always posting amazing content like this, so don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching.